Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2016 BMW 5 Series. So from any screen, you've got navigation here. It's the sort of kind of the nearest button at the top to you, second one down, whatever you want to call it. So if you, if you click once, it's on nav. You click again, the destination menu comes up. Navigate with the iDrive to destination input. And then you've got United Kingdom place or postcode. So just highlight place or postcode, click on that. Then you've got the thumb wheel, which is pretty good, I've got to be honest. Uh, so we're growing the garage, Chorley Road, Watley Dell, Preston, PR5. Now we've put the first two letters in and we have to go down to the numbers. Um, the numbers are greyed out, which, which is funny really, but you, you get down and it says further characters. So you click on further characters and then you've got numbers. So we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantley Dale, Preston, PR5, 4, 5, J. It's defaulted back to letters, S, and then we click the centre for OK. It's asking me for a street. I don't want to put a street in, but if you did, it's, it's fair enough. And you just navigate down here to start guidance. Selected route criteria fast. That's it. So if we click to the left hand side, you'll see their spoken instructions. Please follow the arrow on the display. When leaving, please turn right. So the spoken instructions were switched off. If you just, as I say, click over to the left, it's the second one down, and when you get nearer to home, you can either knock the spoken instructions off or, or cancel the sat nav. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2016 BMW 5 Series. So from any screen, you've got telephone at the top. We're on sat nav at the moment, but telephone is top right button. So we click telephone. And then you've got Bluetooth menu. We click Bluetooth menu. And here you can see um, Bluetooth add new device or, or my phone, which uh, is paired. But you've got this setting sign at the side like a cog or something so we knock the iDrive across and that brings up a new display configure device or remove device remove device that's it gone okay i'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the bluetooth audio system in this 2016 uh, bmw 5 series the first thing we have to do is switch on Bluetooth. Once we've done that, we're looking at the bottom here. We go to telephone, which is the top right button, click telephone. You've got Bluetooth menu there, click Bluetooth menu. And there you go, Bluetooth is on. That's If, you, if you're having trouble uh, finding the phone, make sure there's a tick in that Bluetooth at the top there. And then on to add device, click add device, Please use your Bluetooth device to start search for Bluetooth devices. The vehicle will identify itself as BMW 39881. There we are at the bottom. So we'll click on that. Do the numbers match? 138570, yes it does pair. And then we'll click OK. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Allow. And there you see it at the top, that's connected. Just checking the pass key here. And it's showing there's a tick in the telephone box and a tick in the audio box. That's quite important if you want to stream audio later. So we just click OK. Barry's iPhone's showing up there. I'll just show you how to stream music through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2016 BMW 5 Series. If we go to what well, it's called, it used to be called iTunes, it's now music. Onto music, and you'll see here, if I click at the bottom there, there's a tick next to BMW 3, whatever. And it, that tick there means that whatever audio is playing on your mobile, if you have the correct settings on your uh, audio system in your BMW, that's what will play through your speakers. So I'm going to turn this down. Then we go to media. Media is the top left-hand one. Media. That's 
showing the record that's playing on here. However, if it's not, um, th this, this can be tricky. If we click media again, it then brings up another option. And you'll see there, so it could be on CD, DVD or online in entertainment. So I'll just show you what happens. So that's on CD. Actually, there is a there is a CD in here which uh, I'll get out and uh, let the previous owner back, have back. So we'll go back to uh, let's see. We'll go back to audio. So that's that's on FM there. Now we want to play music from here through here. So we click media, it's showing up on no disc. So you can either click across there, or you click media again. Now, again, it, it's not immediately obvious. Lots of cars these days will say Bluetooth audio, um, but nothing there. However, there's external devices. So we go to external devices, click on that, and then you'll see their auxiliary front, which is auxiliary in there, or Barry's iPhone. And we want Barry's iPhone, so click on that. And that's showing the, the, the tune that's going to play. I'm going to turn this up, and then turn that down, because I can't play it for too long, otherwise I'll get a copyright strike, just to show you how the, the system works. That's it. Thanks for watching.